Welcome back guys. Today back at the cabin and it's a work video. I'm going to set up the uh, the solar panels that will charge the battery that will control the lighting here in the cabin. So we're racing the clock right now. We've got a winter storm coming in, some bad weather. So we got to get to it so it's ready for winter. Of course Royce is here as well helping us out. And he's full of beans. He is the supervisor. Not even here 10 minutes and these little birds are asking me where the food is. Got to fill up their feeders. Cat needs some entertainment. It's already starting to get misty and starting to rain. We're expecting uh, quite a bit of snow uh, coming in a little bit later tomorrow afternoon. So we got a lot of work to get done. For the last work weekend here for a while on sort of outdoor projects, um, you know, we can come in with the vehicle and a trailer full of stuff. In the winter, basically, everything comes in by snowmobile and on the sled. So it becomes a little bit more challenging to do that. So uh, took advantage of the nice weather today. It's about, about zero degrees overcast. It's starting to rain. Uh, like I said, the snow is coming in tomorrow and the temperature is going to drop like a stone tonight. So, uh, and of course, rise up tomorrow again as the, as the snowstorm comes in. So... Just trying to get things done really quickly here. So right now, uh, just trying to figure out the spot to put the solar panels. So right here, I'll just give you a quick peek as to where we are. So here we are just beside the cabin here towards the field. I think the solar panel setup is going to go right by these junipers up in here. So there's a view of the shower house and the hills. The car. Um, sun kind of comes up just sort of where the car is there. And kind of skirts across the sky like that. So we'll get a good bit of the sun for part of the day. We'll take a peek here in the trailer and there's the solar panels from EcoWorthy. Um, you can check them out there, there's a website. Um, so there's two 100 watt panels right there. Got a little bit of lumber in there for the project. So right there we've got a 400 watt set up there just to, uh, to have the lights in the shower house and the fan for the toilet. And uh, we just want a spot to kind of charge up the battery for the cabin to trickle charge it. In the past you guys know uh, just the setup is a little bit you know, crude. It's sort of uh, just outside here. There's one little panel I have it hooked up to and it sort of trickle charges when we're not here. And then we have to take the wheelbarrow and take the battery to the cabin and then plug it into the cabin. So the idea is now the battery will be right by the cabin and it'll be sort of hooked into the solar panel set up near the cabin and trickle charging at all times. And there's just really minimal labor to bring it. Just the power is going to be there. So I have to kind of drag it around. So right now, Working on making a little trench there to bury the um, the outdoor cabling. Uh, it's like landscaping electrical cable to hook up the uh, panels to the battery. So getting started here on building the trench to hide the cable. Royce is trying to help, but not really. Just got kind of a pick here to kind of drag up the soil. Thank goodness it's not frozen. Oh my God, what is he eating now? Don't eat stuff in there. He's going to eat like little acorns or whatever he finds, I'm sure. So this pick's really nice. I've done this before in the past here. Of course, there's a real supervisor, as we all know. Dogs have owners and cats have staff. So he's telling us what needs to be done here. Horace is kind of getting in the way here. I don't know what he's trying to find. It says truffle season. Maybe he could uh, find me some truffles. Just don't eat them. So it's going really quickly. The ground is not frozen here yet. Well, I mean, it's a little bit but not that bad. So let's get to it. All right, we need this, go bring it. Oh, no, I realize it's heavy in one end. Come on, okay. He was carrying this just a second ago, training him to be helpful and bring tools to the site. Come on, bring your stick. Have to call it a stick though. Hey boys, come here, come here, come here, bring your stick, let's go. All right, come on, oh God. So I'll just show you right here, this is the setup right now. Battery's plugged in, but when we deplete the battery, we've got to take it all the way back out to the field to charge it. So um, we're going to just make it so that this battery can be charged in situ. Just want to show you the cable that we're using here. It's a slow voltage a landscape wire, about a 98 feet there, so that should do the job. Just been working on getting the little stands for the solar panel set up, so it's pretty easy. Uh, this just kind of creates whatever angle you want to have the panels at. So you can kind of pick it up there. You can see that's sort of an angle. You can adjust it however you want. And there's some little thumb screws to install there. There's a more permanent screw at that end. So these are aluminum. So it's uh, they're not going to rust or anything like that. And uh, all the hardware you need comes in the kit. So what you need to attach the panels to 
these stands here and for the panels together. The only thing we're making right now is the uh, sort of wooden stand to kind of keep this off the ground because of course when the snow comes in, which is going to come in tomorrow, it'll stay for the winter and we don't want them buried in snow at all. That's going to defeat the purpose of keeping things trickle charged um, while we're away. So got to build a stand to kind of keep it up above snow level. Royce has been playing with this cardboard box. He's in the stage of his life right now where he likes to destroy things. You guys are probably familiar with that. So, uh, there he goes. Very satisfying. So I'm using the trailer here as a workbench. I'm just going to attach the panels now to the stands while the stand's being built. It's working on the stand here. The wooden stand, that is. God love those battery powered Ryobi tools. We have a lot of them here at the cabin and they, <laughs> your phone of <laughs> Gotta love those Ryobi battery powered tools. We have a lot of them here at the cabin and it's really handy for off grid use. Looks like the rain has started to turn to snow now. So we better get hopping here. Okay, give it back to me. Give it back to me. No, 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 no. Uh, it's not being very helpful. <laughs> give it back. He loves playing this game, chasey game. Uh. <laughs> Thinks he's found the best stick in the entire world right now. Now we should see Roycey Cam version of this. I should have set up his little camera so you guys can see his point of view of the construction. This is not being helpful. So there it is put together. There's one of the two. So I'm just gonna work on the second one and the other stand is being built. So this is coming along really quickly, which is great. Also racing daylight here as well, but you guys, but sun is getting really like basically set by five o'clock around here. So gotta get going. Aha, uh -huh. I won in the end. <laughs> A little bit of battle of the wills there, but you can't let them win. All right, back to making the second uh, setup for the panel. So you know earlier how I said, just use these regular kind of um, bolts in this side. Well, I think I'm short some, so I figure because I've got a lot left of these little thumb screws that just like those ones, I think those actually have to go in here because I need these ones to put in here. So I'm going to take these ones out and we'll do that. So with the solar panels and the stands all set up, I'm in the process right now of burying the landscaping cable. So I've coiled up a bunch right here. It's going to go into the cabin to our main area there. So there's the main area there. Uh, as you can see, that's where the uh, power goes into the cabin. So we're gonna feed everything up through there in just a sec. Just taking a little break from working here and uh, just taking a look at sort of our previous work here in the shower house. I mean, we're gonna plan to wire in the panels out there to the cabin and uh, remember how cool it is in the shower house. So I fired up my little buddy heater. <laughs> These things are awesome. Picked this up a couple years ago at Princess Auto and I think I was just in there the other day and they're on sale. Um, this kicks off quite a lot of heat and now that it's fully insulated here including the roof this is going to heat up really nicely so I'm looking forward to just heating up the shower house and uh, you know just kind of keeping the heat in here so if you have to go to the bathroom during the day or have your shower it's gonna be nice and warm and you can just kind of fire up a little buddy um, you know when you're in here if it's just getting cool the only thing with a little buddy heater it's um, sort of venting into the environment so it's not really a good use for it in an enclosed environment Made sure that I have the window open and uh, I've got to install a uh, fire alarm and a carbon monoxide detector in here. So yeah, these heaters are not meant to be used kind of in this scenario. They kind of, you know, useful for when you're, you know, in your fishing hut or you know, you're in your tree stand or whatnot. So please be careful. You know, the carbon monoxide uh, will get pumped into the room from this. So you have to have a vent out. Uh, one good thing about these things is it does have a low oxygen sensor, so it will turn off. So these two batteries right here hooked into this controller. And what it powers is a fan for the toilet and the light in here. And at the same time, uh, it's also being charged. So that's kind of a cool setup that we have there for the shower house. And so we're hoping to sort of set up the panels right now you're seeing outside so that we can get lighting inside the cabin. All right, we're all done with the stand and you can see the panels are a little bit different angle. It's all cross braced and there's some rebar Royce is rhyming into me. There's some rebar kind of pounded into the ground so, this, so the wind doesn't catch this and take it away. So next is the electrical work. So the electrical work um, to the cabin might do a little bit later when it gets, uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow as the snow starts to hit. Right now what we're gonna do is uh, hook up the panels 
to that cable and just start burying that wire. So let's talk a bit about the electrical. It's all done now. Um, so as you guys know, you know, these wires, they come out of the panel and you can buy these Y connectors on Amazon. So it connects the two panels together to work as one. And then there is the, um, the landscaping uh, cable and you can just do a little bit of fancy electrical work. You just buy these little connectors here and you strip the wire obviously and you split it and you can attach them here. Those are also available on Amazon. So there we go. And the cable uh, kind of loops down here and it plunges into the ground and it's all buried. So you just kick the leaves over it. Well, it's underground and then just kick the leaves over it so you can't really tell what's going on. So there you go. We're gonna have uh, power into the cabin directly now. So this is great. So uh, tomorrow, because we're losing our light right now, we're going to show you how it's all connected inside the cabin. Back inside the cabin now, it is five o'clock at night and pitch dark outside. Take a look at that. Good morning, everyone. It is a cool, cloudy morning this morning, and we've got a huge weather system coming in. About 20 centimeters of snow is on the way. It's coming within a few hours, so got a couple things to get done this morning. Take a look at the sky there. You can, from the air, you can see that front line coming in. Just a beautiful, still morning. There you can see the front line. Isn't that insane? That's where the weather's coming in this morning. Um, it's gonna be a nasty one, so I wanna get going here today for sure. So let's, uh, before we head inside, let's go uh, to the field and look for a Christmas tree. So many trees to choose from in my plot, you know, I've got the spruce in here and of course a lot of white pine. They need a lot of thinning, so that's why each year I take out a Christmas tree as part of the thinning process. But boy, are they ever getting big. This one here is a little scraggly and take a look at that. Take a look at how bent that is at the top. Well, some of these trees have overcome a lot in their lifetime so far. They've experienced quite a bit of drought and heavy, heavy 100-year flood rains, so well, they're doing pretty well. I kind of thought this would be an easy process this morning, nice and quick, before we get inside and work on some of the electrical stuff, but, uh, well, no, it's not that easy, actually. <laughs> Played with indecision. What tree should I take? Does it look, uh, you know, healthy or thin on the back or whatever, or... You know, is it sick? Because I might want to take that if there's some, you know, some kind of fungus at the bottom and it's going to die anyway. I'll just take that one, but uh, it's quite the process, actually. This is really neat. Some of my trees are old enough. They're actually producing their own cones. Isn't that cool? So they're of a reproductive age. I won't take these ones. These are important trees to kind of keep the little forest going. Well, I think I found the one. Perfect height, nice big thick stem. As you can see, it's really crowded in here, and so a tree has to be taken out. So this is the one. I have my trusty Swedish felling axe. A couple of wax with that, and we'll be good. There we go. I've got the tree down. So take that home. I usually just stuff it in my car, in the cab of the car, but uh, it's where you have the trailer, so that'll be really handy. I don't know how to keep the dog away from the Christmas tree in the house, so if you guys have any tips, let me know down below in the comments. So a tour starting here on in the inside. Uh, you can see this is the wall of the cabin. Uh, facing the outside and we've got a couple of cables coming in through, through the ground there. One um, is coming from the battery and one is going out 
to uh, the solar panel. That's that buried cable that's coming out of the ground. And that right there um, is uh, the cabling that goes to power the front of the, the cabin. There's a few different um, series of lights here we've got. So this wire right here with the lights on, that one powers the lights to the, or sends powers to the lights in the bedroom and to the attic and the front porch. So what you guys really want to see here is the interesting stuff in the cabinet. And there's the controllers. So this is the one uh, that you can see that's basically in the shower house. There's the wires coming in and going off to various different loads. Up here, what we have is the inverter. So we use that to charge cell phones. And there's a junction box where the load goes off to power the lighting at the front of the cabin, sort of the light by the sink and the pump for the sink to bring water in. So what's really cool is that this, uh, you know, here uh, shows that the battery is charging. So the battery's charging outside and it's also powering the lights. So that's really cool. Uh, it's really nice to be able to have this inside. Uh, oh, one important thing I want to show you is the fuse. There's a fuse right there. So there is a problem um, that will go off and uh, power will be cut. So you can figure out what the heck is going on. So this is super nice. Uh, let's go outside and we'll see what's going on out there. Let's see if it all works. Oh yeah, very good. And there's a light to the bedroom. So that uh, just shows you the load at the front there. Okay, so there's a the side of the cabin and it looks a little bit different than you guys remember it last. The uh, box right there, we used to plug in uh, the battery that's gone. I've got to cover that over with a little bit of uh, Thompson's water seal. And there's the cable, it's all buried underground. And it goes up and under. And there you can see um, the wire, like I mentioned, coming out of the ground from the solar, going in there, and then the other wire goes to the marine battery. So I think things turned out really well. The plan is to put that battery in a little container underneath the cabin so it's a little bit more weatherproof in case things blow under the cabin. So I'll just put a board up there now to prevent any snowfall from getting in there. So it looks like we made it in under the wire and race against the clock there to get this done before the big snowstorm hits. We get about 20 centimeters of snow tonight so thank goodness this is all done and we're all set for winter here. Just cleaned up the yard as well. So I'm glad you guys joined me for today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions leave them down below in the comments section. I hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care.